Hey guys, and welcome back to Go Menards. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create confetti in After Effects using no third party plugins. Run titles. So here we are in After Effects, and as you can see, I've already created a composition and a blank solid, so go ahead and do the same. And once you've done this, you want to go over to your Effects and Presets panel and type in Particle. Now if we look down the list, you'll see I've actually got Particular, which is a third party plugin, and we're not going to be using that today. You can create a great confetti look in this, and there's plenty of tutorials out there already for that. But today I want to focus on the base After Effects Particle engines to create that confetti for people who don't have Particular. So we're going to be using Particle World. Go ahead and drag that onto your blank solid and uh, let's give that a quick playthrough. Here it is, this is what you get when you uh, first put that on your blank solid and it looks nothing like confetti. It's a nice sparkly effect uh, and just adjusting a few things, we're going to get what we want pretty quick. So let's begin. I'm going to start by going into the particle and then going into the particle type and changing the line to a quad polygon. This will give us a nice shape that will uh, act as a base for our uh, confetti effect. Let's give that a quick playthrough. As you see, it's looking a bit more like confetti already, but there's loads of other things we need to adjust to get that nice sort of looking confetti. If we go into the physics, we can uh, adjust some of these things just to make it react and act a little bit uh, more like confetti. And the first thing we want to do is change the animation to a cone axis. And what this will do is fire it out upwards and then the gravity will pull it down. Speaking of going upwards, that is the velocity. So we do want it to go a lot higher than it already does. So up the velocity to about five and uh, it should fire it off screen at this point. Don't worry, we'll uh, adjust that in a moment. But we do still want it to come down. And for that, all we have to do is adjust the gravity. I'm gonna take it up to one, doubling the effects that were already on it uh, at the preset which should bring it back down, we can't quite see it. So let's go ahead and adjust the producer. Opening up the producer will give us these options um, and we can move it about. As you can see, we have a nice grid floor. Um, just move it to wherever you need it, wherever you're comfortable with. I'm gonna take the Z down so we can sort of see it a bit better. And then uh, I think I'll just center it again and bring it down maybe as well. And that will give us a nice overview of all of the effects so far. Let's take a look. So as you can see, we've got it firing up and pulling back down a little bit and then it does fade out towards the end, which is fine, which is great, it's exactly what we want. While we've got the producer open, let's just up the Z radius to um, about 0.100. Now what this will do is add a little bit more depth into it. If you uh, want a really depthy looking one, just up that higher and higher and it will um, give this really cool sort of long distance, you can see right into it sort of look, but I'm not gonna do too much today, I'll leave it at 0.100. And you can do the same with the X and the Y, uh, let's just, up it to about sort of 0.80. You can see it just, it just adds a little bit more depth to the effect. Um, I'm not going to adjust them too much today, uh, but that is where you get that sort of settings if you're looking for that. At the moment, you'll see this is sort of a big shower, and that's not how Confetti works. We want it to sort of be like a cannon, so we want it to sort of fire. So if we go to the beginning, let it play through for a little bit, and then stop, I'm going to go about half a second in, and I'm going to set a timer on the birth rate. At the moment, it's two. Let's go two frames in and change that to zero. And a few seconds later, it should sort of just wither out, which gives us about one and a half seconds of animation. Um, and it's sort of like this fire, nice confetti firing sort of look. Now that we've done that, we're actually pretty close to uh, having the final effect. There is some of the things we need to do after, but um, let's just go ahead and change the max opacity to 100 and this will make it slightly less transparent. If you want to make it even more solid, go to the opacity map and what you'll see is this graph. Now this at the moment means it's fading into solid, solid for a bit, fading out. Uh, we're going to adjust that just by clicking anywhere. You can see you can draw your own, uh, but we're just going to go off, still holding down. We're just going to go off and just draw a sort of straight line and that's going to mean it's solid forever, which is great. It's exactly what we want, right? Once we've done that, uh, go ahead and change the birth color to whatever color you want. We'll use a nice blue for this and uh, also change the death color to the same. You could have a bit of adjustment in there. It's completely up to you, whatever you're looking for. And what that gives you is this nice confetti cannon. It fires up and sort of sprinkles out and it looks great, right? Now there are some of the things I'm gonna do before I say this uh, effect is complete. And to start with, I'm gonna duplicate the layer that we have. And then on this, I'm gonna go into the particle once again. And in the particle this time, I'm gonna change it to a motion square. Now what this will do is any movement, it will sort of recognize that and move with it. 
um, as you can see all the squares that we already have are now stretched a little bit and I'm going to change the colour of this, the birth rate and the death rate to white and this gives it more of a sort of sparkle effect, these are sort of sparklers and the others are sort of uh, confetti so it looks like it's more of an explosion of confetti like so, more like a firework actually but as you'll see at the moment all the squares are actually the same, they're the identical particles so let's change that up in the producer you might remember before we uh, adjusted some of the X and the Y radius we're going to do the same again this time just to give it a bit more variety in there just to make it look a bit more different and it gives this extra sort of shape to it now that I've got that I'm also going to duplicate it once again I'm actually going to go back to the first layer and duplicate that so uh, we now have two of these sort of square ones and in the particle I'm going to change the death and uh, birth size just down a little bit so let's go 0. Let's go with 0 0.100 or, or, or 0 0.10, that will uh, work itself out. And this will give us a slightly smaller effect. And if we solo this layer, you'll see we've now got smaller particles, smaller pieces. So let's go and change the producer once again, uh, just to make it a bit more random. And then turn everything back on and see what we have. You see we've got smaller bits. Now, that's great, but they sort of blend in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just change those to white. Um, just so you can see them a bit better at the moment. They're all around the place. And then I'm going to add an effect called Colorama. You'll find this by typing in Rama probably quickest. And uh, there it is. Just drag and drop that onto the layer. And once that's done, you'll see we have a sort of multicolor bit. Uh, we can up the multicolors by going into the output cycle and changing the cycle repetition right up to whatever, 64. And uh, that'll give us a nice colorful look. We could do the same if we wanted to the original particles if we want multi colors everywhere. Um, but I like to have a base color and then the smaller bits being sort of multicolored. It's just, it shows up a bit better and that's it. That's a nice particle effect, right? It sort of splatters everywhere. And what we can do is uh, get them all and turn them into a composition by pressing Command Shift C or Control Shift C on a PC. And then we can scale it up, do whatever we want to it, adjust it around. I'm gonna rotate these actually what I like to do is have a nice sort of cannon burst of them. If I duplicate it and uh, rotate it once again, uh, let's go plus 18 this time, move it over to this side, give it a bit of time offset and then turn that up. What we'll have is a nice cannon from one side, then a nice cannon from the other and it all looks like a big celebration of uh, confetti. And that's it, we're done. We have this nice cool confetti look. Hopefully this helped. Um, like I said, you can get better looking things uh, if you use the Black Particular or more third party plugins. But if you don't have it, this is a nice substitute for that. Don't forget to check out my playlist for other tutorials. Do be sure to comment down below if you have any questions and be sure to subscribe for more content. See you next time, goodbye.